You guys are amazing. You totally clicked like on our No Sound in Space video like over 10,000 times. We only asked for 7,000. You guys went way above and beyond. So here I am. I am Trace. This is DNews Extra Credit. As you probably now know, there is no sound in space. You hopefully know why, because you watched that video. But there is one thing that is picking up sound in space. I'm doing this because it was actually kind of a cute trick. Sound as we perceive it is waves that vibrate in the air at wavelengths between 64 and 23,000 hertz, right? Well, waves at those wavelengths exist in space and Voyager 1 is picking them up. But instead of vibrating air, it's vibrating interstellar plasma. The Voyager 1 probe launched from Florida 36 years ago. She's gone 12 billion miles so far. She has enough power that she should be able to go billions more at 335 million miles per year. But as it's passing through the plasma, as it leaves our solar system, the electrical probes on Voyager 1 picked up shocks from a solar flare that was sent out by our sun. In March 2012, a flare was sent out from the sun and it reached Voyager then earlier this year and the energy vibrated between two and three kilohertz. So well within human hearing range. It was sort of a trick because if you could survive in the vacuum of space, you still couldn't actually hear the sound. It's electrons vibrating instead of air particles, but it was super cool regardless. You can actually hear this plasma without doing any alterations to the wavelengths at all if you were able to pick up plasma vibrations. One more time, here's what it sounds like. Thanks for giving us over 7,000 likes on our previous video. I want to keep doing this extra stuff so you all get to know me a bit better and the other DNews hosts. I'm not just a host, we actually do this because we love it. Tweet me at Trace Dominguez, check out our Facebook page. We are going to post an extra video every week. Thanks a lot. See ya.